God, our tithes and our offerings, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you bless the works, Lord God, of our hands, Lord God, be in our workplaces, in our schools, in our houses, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness even um, in each one's life, Lord God, even for everyone who is uh, watching live, Panginoon. God, we thank you that you prove continually in each and every day, Lord God, your faithfulness, that you show your favor upon us, Lord God, your children, Lord God. God, we thank you, Lord God, for your goodness. And Lord God, we just continue to bless you and glorify you, Lord God, in everything that we do, Lord God. God, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's give our bless you for every offering and every love gift that you give. You are sowing on the right ground. Amen. Amen. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I have to keep on practicing po na ganon. <laughs> because right now uh, some of our uh, family on the other side of the world are joining us and I really thank the Lord for the privilege to bless the Lord with the good news. Amen. Ayan. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I'm overwhelmed with the joy of the Lord. Amen. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. God is so good. Hallelujah. Father, we just bless you in this atmosphere of praise and celebration. Amen. Panginoon, we just want to bless you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, thank you. Sige po, I want us to take a deep breath right now. Just take a deep breath mm, and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Amen. I bring you good news, good news, good news. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I, this is actually already the second service. This morning, we were at Maharlika and I'd like to greet and congratulate Laverne, Sister Laverne, Bergonya, na nag-open po ng kanyang salon. And we dedicated it to the Lord. And I thank God for this wonderful new family and for the life of Sister Venus and Brother Richard. And also the Mabalot family. <laughs> Amen. And I thank God also for those who joined us for a midnight evening to midnight prayer last Friday. Amen. Alam niyo ba? After we prayed, there was an earthquake that took place. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know, but I have been praying with some people with you. You know whom I, I pray you with? And I pray with you in the middle of the night and actually in the morning we see immediate results. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. I thank the Lord for every prayer partner, our covenant brothers and sisters who stood with us from the start to the end. You know, I just sent an invitation. I did not know who will come. I did not know, when, but when God sends you extraordinary men and women of God to come alongside with you, the work that you are about to engage must be serious at Indisha Just Just. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. And I was just like Elisha, the servant of Elisha na sabi ni Elisha sa kanyang servant, open your eyes and see. And when the servant of the Lord opened it, his eyes, nakita niya the chariots that was surrounding the mountains. Kasi the servant of Elisha was in fear because he said to Elisha, Master, we are surrounded with enemies. 
they are coming towards us. What shall we do? And lo and behold, the men of God said, Open your eyes that you might see that those who are with us are more than those who are against us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, I thank God that we have been hearing the alarm of the Lord. We have been responding. Tumutugon tayo dun sa pagtawag ng Lord. Sabi ni Sister Cora, last time, in a dream, napanaginipan niya si Ama blowing the shofar on top of the mountain. And the families that could hear the sound of the shofar would gather and pray together. And that's the very purpose po ng shofar. The shofar, when it is blown, it's an alarm for harvest. It's an alarm for celebration, but it's also an alarm for war. Amen. Hello? Hello? And this morning, I want to tell you, mga kapatid, brothers and sisters in the Lord, the Lord is still blowing the trumpet in Zion. The Lord is sounding the alarm. Yeah. And He is mobilizing watchmen to do the mobilizing to sound the alert level. Amen. Because many of us, we have just accepted the status quo. Many of us has just remained where we are. We have forgotten who we are. We have forgotten what we have. We have forgotten what Jesus did at the cross for us. And it's time to sound the alarm and remind the body of Christ that, hey, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto you and me. You will walk power and dominion sabi ng Panginoon, Amen Hallelujah some of us we have just ex accepted na parang our lives can just be this way, no hello, I bring you good news, you don't have to stay the same, God is a progressive working God and God is working if you will only allow him to use you, to engage you in his army, the Hallelujah. Let's open our Bibles today. Sabi ko sa Lord, what will I share today? And I've been receiving encouragement from Sweden, from California, from Caribbean. Ang ganyan lang naman mga people who don't know what we are going through. People who don't know what I am going through. But they would send me a message and a word from the Lord. And I thank God that we have learned that when we were younger, we have learned to listen to a covenant sister. That it's not only her na nagsasalita or speaking, but with honor, you know that the Lord is speaking to that person, to you. Amen? Amen. Sabi sa akin, I grace, Ate Noemi, get, take your position. We are still at war. Ate Rose is doing her part in Sweden. Ganyan. Sabi ni Janet, Ate, our struggle is not flesh and blood. And I thank God, I've heard those words. I've heard those words. <laughs> again and again. But there are times that when your emotions are overwhelmed, when our thoughts are filled, our inboxes are just over, are, are filled with messages, with conversations that will wear us down. The enemy will try to disfocus you from what you are and who you are and what you are should be, you should be doing. Hello? Yeah. And if I am in battle, if I am engaged in that thing, lahat po tayo. Hello? Amen. Amen. But God, I want us to be alerted once more. I can sense the groaning of Jessica and Manas. They lead the worship this morning. I know that it is the stirring of the Spirit of God in them. We have not talked. Tama? We have not talked what to line up, what to sing. But the same message that they carry in the song is the same message God has given me this morning. Let us engage in the spiritual war. Amen. 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 Wag po po kayong matakot. Wag po kayong mapagod. Amen. Dag dumakan niya tayo, nabannog tayo. Nabannog tayo. Pero sabihin ko sa inyo, mas nakakapagod pag hindi. 
hindi kayo nananangin. Mas madali kayong mas mas magiging vulnerable tayo, mas magiging uh, uh, talunan tayo. Pero dahil hindi po yun, ang katotohanan, hindi po yun ang design ng Lord for all of us. Amen. Hallelujah. So let me walk you to the armor of God in Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6. Sabi po rito, in conclusion, pasensya na, walang ano, beginning, pero conclusion na agad. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord, Queen says. Be strong in the Lord, mana. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. Throw, sa Amplified Bible, I'm reading and the Amplified, sabi dito, it says here, throw your strength from Him and be empowered through your union with Him. How will you be empowered? Through your union with Jesus and in the power of His boundless mind. Verse 11, put on the full armor of God. For his precepts are like the splendid armor of, ha of a heavily armed soldier. So that you may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and the strategies of the, and the deceits of the devil. Verse 12. For our struggle is not flesh and blood. Sabi mo nga, not flesh and blood. <laughs> Come on, I have to say it more. So that you will not look at your father as your enemy. You will not look at your auntie as your enemy. You will not look at your boss as your enemy. Our struggle is not flesh and blood. Amen. 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 Sabi niya doon, but against rulers. We're fighting rulers against the powers, against the world forces. Hey, look at me. Listen, wake up against world forces of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand your ground in the evil day and having done everything that the crisis demands to stand firm in your place Fully prepared, immovable, victorious. Verse 14. So stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the white band belt of truth, personal integrity, moral courage around your waist, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm-footed stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, verse 16, lift up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. Father, thank you for hearts that are awakened to hear your word and to exercise your word in Jesus' name. Amen. When we went on midnight prayers, it was evening. Wala namang midnight na, na tanghali, ano? The enemy wants darkness. Hello? This week, the, many people are preparing for the Halloween. And when we prayed last midnight, it was full moon. Halloween's they love full moons. And sabi nga ni Jessica kanina, the battle is real. And many of us love to sleep in the night. Yeah. We love to rest. We love to sleep. But the enemy it takes advantage of nights. Para ipalaganap. No? And many of us believers have been comfortable with our sleeping time. Hello? I want you to be so awakened to receive this because sabi na salita ng Diyos in John chapter 10, the enemy is determined to kill you, he steal many things from you and destroy you. Wala siyang ibang balaki kundi to kill, steal, and destroy everything that the church, everything that the people have. Hello? So if you are being confused, the enemy stole your peace. If you are so down that the enemy stole 
you with joy. Yes. And you have to take it back. Don't remain downcast. Hello. Because there is hope. Amen. Amen. The believer's life is designed victorious. Amen. Hallelujah. The design ng Lord have the power and dominion. Hindi sabi ng Lord na sometimes your life will be down. Sometimes your life will be up. No. The Lord promised in this world you will have troubles but lo, I have overcome the world. Connect with Him who overcome the world and you will overcome. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. So the truth is we are at war. I want you to touch the elbows of somebody and say, come on brother, come on sister, we are at war. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Then don't be afraid. Wag po kayong matakot. Panakatakot naman si pastor. Ha? Bakit na naman warfare? Alam niyo ba, hindi pumupunta sa, sa bakbahan ang isang bata. mag e ka nga eh. Muna. Amen? And you will have to undergo training, Jen. Di ba? Hindi basta-basta ng training. Yung mga pagtitiktok, hindi pwede dun sa battle yun. <laughs> Hello? Yung mga pabebe natin, hindi pwede sa battle yun. Come on! Am I speaking to a church that is going to war? Amen! Sabi mo, pwede bang hindi sumali sa war? Sagot ng 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 3 to 4, if you can post that, Jess. Sabi ni Apostle Paul, like Jessica was sharing a while ago as well, suffer hardship, sabi ni Paul, with me as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. Salutuhan mo yung katabi mo. You are alive. I bless you. I celebrate you. Amen. Amen. No soldier in active service entangles, entangles himself in the affairs of everyday life. Wala daw sundalo na busy sa spiritual war, busy din sa ibang mga bagay. Hello? Sabi niya, so that you, that he may please the one who enlisted him as a soldier. So si Lord mismo, the moment you receive Jesus, come on! The moment you receive Jesus, how many receive Jesus in their hearts? If you receive Jesus, you are enlisted in the army of the Lord. Amen. And the army of the Lord is God's victorious army. Amen. 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 So no army can wage war successfully without fighting a force that keeps rank and file. No army can wage war without respect for their officers and obeying orders. So if you would read in Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 4, bago po sinabi ni Paul ang authority in Ephesians chapter 6, go back read tayo. Wag lang tayo sa messenger na mag-back read. mag read tayo sa Bible. Ephesians chapter 4 and 5, he talks about submission. You want authority, get submission. Authority comes along with submission. In Ephesians chapter 4, Paul encourages us to submit to our parents. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. Husbands and wives submitted to the Lord, submitted to one another, and wives submit. Servants submitted to their masters. We submitted to our leaders. So before and in any exercise of authority, one must know that there needs to be a recognition of the delegated authority ng Lord. Hello? Not unless you will learn submission that way. You will never be exercising your authority. Kaya hindi ka sure minsan kung magka-cast out ka. Hindi ka sure minsan kung mapapalayas mo ang demonyo. Hello, I want you to know today that your life submitted to God, submitted to your parents, submitted to your leaders, you will have that boldness to come to the throne. I am submitted to the Lord. Therefore, sabi niya ng James chapter 4 verse 7, submit yourselves then to God and you will be able to resist the devil and he will flee from you. Hmm. Araw-araw, ang sarap makita ang kaaway tumatakbong. <laughs> Hindi papalapit sa'yo. Papalayo. 
Hello. Amen. Amen. Sabi po ng isang witchcraft na nagtest dating witch na nagtestimony sa sidrot, you can watch it. The reason why, the reason why nagko-costume daw ang mga uh, hallow, during Halloween, ang belief ng mga satanists is when they put on that Halloween costume, the enemy, the devil, will know sino mga kasama nila. <laughs> And sometimes Christians wear Halloween costumes. Sabi ng mga satanist, at least one day sa buhay ng mga Kristiyano, nag-worship sila sa demonyo. But let it be an eye-opener today. The Lord advanced us in the midnight prayer. I forgot that it's Halloween time. I did not also know that it is full moon. So when we were praying, we are sounding an alarm on the enemy's camp. Nagpupulabog ang kuta ng kaaway. Amen? Kaya naman pagdating ng alauna, lumindul. God is shaking what needs to be shaken. I want you to know that when you are a, an earth-moving prayer warrior. Amen. Hello? Amen. That when you pray, because you carry the presence of God in your life, enemy will not stand you. They have no choice but James chapter 4 verse 7 to flee and run. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you, some of us, we have been comfortable. We have not been casting out. They have been resident. They have not been visitors. They have been there in a stronghold. And I want you to rise up today and open your eyes and identify what you need to resist, what you need to refuse, and what you need to cast out. The power and authority is upon every one of us. Amen. 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 And obedience is the foundation of who we are in Christ and a key to spiritual warfare. The mature warrior, sabihin mo, I'm mature, I'm mature. is an obedient warrior. Amen. 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 Yung laging nakikibangki, matiyak ang mapromote yun. Kaya kung ang pinasabi sa'yo na 20 push-ups, di ba, Jay? push up ka na ba? <laughs> I pray that you will be able to stand the military training that you have, you are in. Because then you can more relate to a spiritual war that we are in. Amen? So it's also good to really undergo a training na ma madisiplin itong flesh. Madisiplin tayo. No? So, a mature warrior is an obedient warrior. And that's the basic training bringing a civilian's will in will in line with the military standards. Hindi pwedeng sabihin mo, agawin na ka, kaya ko te agawin. Ay, saan ka mabalin mo? Daka niya baraksan. Hello? Amen? You are to align with the military code, military rules and regulations, and a military way of thinking. You don't go to war on your own. You have to listen to orders of your higher ups. Amen? And if the church is going to wage war successfully, we must learn to listen to the commander-in-chief. Amen? Last Friday, I heard the voice of the Lord he instructed me no, to do this, do this, do this. I did one step. And alam mo, yung one step na ginawa ko, nagkaroon ng bunga sa isang family. And then nagkaroon ng bunga sa isang family. And this morning, nagkaroon ng bunga sa isang family. Just one step of obedience. You just don't know how far the Lord will take that obedience. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And number two, be strong in the Lord. Mm-hmm. Nakaka-relate ako doon sa mga pagka may man nagsashare na nararanasan niyo ba yun? Yung nanghihina kayo? <laughs> Kasi totoo naman. Pero thank God. Dati yung mga panghihina natin aabot ng taon at buwan. Pero ngayon, less than overnight. Yes! Sometimes the enemy may will make you feel you're knocked down. But the moment you get on your knees, come on! A supernatural anointing and presence of God just comes and you will begin to enlarge your capacity and begin to believe God. Lord, <laughs> you are with me. Amen. Amen. And what matters most is what God says. Amen. Sometimes we can, sometimes, 
true? You are this person, you are this weak, you may have failed, yes. Thank God I can run to my father on my knees. Yes. And he will say, Anak, let me lift you up. Anak, let me take it. Let me help you. Ang sarap makapartner ang Lord. Amen. Amen. And I want to tell you, this ministry has been birthed in the ministry of prayer. Ang aming pong eldest na anak, pinangalan namin na prayer warrior dahil nung naglilihi ako at wala akong makain, inalaw ng Lord for me to fast and hunger for Him and be soaked in the ministry of prayer. Kaya lang, the ministry of prayer is the most uncelebrated ministry. Do you know that? Because many do not feel comfortable praying long. Sasabi nila, ganun ba kahirap i-reach out si God? Kailangan mong pray ng mahaba? Of course na. But God has endowed Himself to men and women who would stand in the gap, who will unselfishly cry out before the Lord. And time and time again, we have seen God raising men who would stand and cry before the Lord. There is only one person who cried for a nation and a nation was changed. How much more tayo? So guys, I want to encourage you. Maybe some of you, you have been doing extensive, extended prayer and fasting. And sometimes you have no one to agree with. But I want you to know that God is mindful. God's eyes are open. Amen. And He sees you. And He hears you. And He is sending aid to come alongside with you. Amen. Because if you don't receive this, you cannot empower others as well. And the enemy hates the ministry of prayer. Hello? Because when you are in the ministry of prayer, before the Lord, you are hidden in Christ. Amen. And when you are hidden in Christ, the enemy cannot find you. <laughs> and if he cannot find you, he will do otherwise. He will touch your family. He will use your boss. He will use your finances to try to get your attention again. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ang kaaway papansin. <laughs> Sabi ng Lord, Psalms 121, Sabi ni David, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth. Amen. Come on! Amen. I like that song. When you call on Jesus, mountains are gonna move. Because yeah. he'll, move, he'll move heaven and earth too. Come rescue you when you call. Amen. Call upon his name. Don't be ashamed to say, Jesus, yes. help. Amen. Amen. Sometimes in the body of Christ, we feel so intimidated to call for help because we feel we are too proud. We are too proud not to ask for help. Hello? But I realize nothing will happen if I keep on doing that. Amen. Hallelujah. The Lord may show you a Jericho, a promised land, and the Lord will tell you, take it, possess it. But we still have to march around seven times, shout, and then defeat the inhabitants once the walls is down. You see, we have to learn the skills of spiritual warfare because we can learn about the full wealth, yung promise ng Lord, pwede nating alam na pray lang. Good job, eh, marabunas. Bigay talaga ng Lord yun lahat. But, in order to obtain it, we are going to do our part. Sabi mo, our part. Our part. Amen. At ang sabi ng Lord, no, you may be going through some things right now, and you are saying, Lord, what in the world I am? Anong gagawin ko? My family is under attack. My finances are under attack. My health is under attack. My marriage is under attack. My reputation is under attack. Should I post it on Facebook? 
Should I deactivate my social media accounts? Should I just run and hide just like Elijah when he was depressed? He ran to the cave and he thought he was all alone. Hindi niya alam, meron pa palang 700 prophets of God. <laughs> Akala niya, Lord, bakit Lord? Ako lang. But this is what the Lord wants you to do right now. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. The strength of God. Mga kapatid, it's not proven in how much we cast away. The strength of God is proven in how much we endure. Jesus proved his strength when they nailed him to the tree and he kept preaching with nails in his hands. Mga nagsasalita pa rin si Lord. As was already at the cross. Sinasabi pa rin niya doon sa sinner. Sabi nung sinner, Lord, if you die today, take me, take you, take me with you in paradise. And he said, today you shall be with me in paradise. See, Stephen did not stop the stoning. Instead, he forgave the persecutors. Look up and worship Jesus. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Amen. 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 Number three in Ephesians chapter six. It's a big put on. Sabi mo, put on. Tilukanong ikabil you. Sino ti mga aramid? Datayo. It's an act of will. Datayo ti mga aramid nga mangikabil. We put on the armor of God. We are to allow God to empower us by suiting up in His armor. Amen? And to put on the whole armor, hindi pwede na meron, kang, meron ka pang mga sarili mong devices na carnal o yung makalaman. Amen? Hindi pwedeng magsabay yung spiritual warrior, armor mo, at yung sarili mong kaparaanan. Amen? And the strategy of the flesh, we have to give, surrender, and so that we can overcome natural obstacles. Amen? Ano yon? We must put off our own ideas and strategies to put on God's armor and strategies for fighting in the spirit realm. Kailangan, Lord, itong isip ko, itong iniisip kong kaparaanan ko, meron po kayong ipinapanalangin. Dapat ah, si mama kat magbabo siya para magkaroon ako ng victory. That is your that is your own thinking. You have to surrender that to the Lord. Amen? Amen. We must take off lies to put on truth. We must put away sin to put on righteousness. We must cast off guilt and death and put on salvation and eternal life. We must get rid of strife and division and put on peace. We must put off doubt and unbelief and put on faith. We must put away ignorance. So kinakailangan talaga, we have to feed, feed, feed ourselves. Para hindi tayo magsasabi, ay, sorry, hindi ko alam. Ay, ganun ba, Lord? Ay, hindi ko alam. Pagdating po sa batas, pag meron tayong sinuway, sasabihin ng batas, ignorance of the law is no excuse. No nalapsing mo, iti linta, no anya iti maipataw ka niya, maipataw ken ka. Ang muman tilintig ka haan. Amen. Amen. But we are not ignorant. We have an access to the Word of God. The Word of God is available for us to search on it day and night. Amen. Amen. And we have a local church family that we can share the truth that we are receiving so that we are we know that we are feeding on the right food. Amen. Number four, the word of God, so Ephesians chapter 6, is to stand. Sabi niyo, stand. Stand. Ano ba tayo tayo tumayo? We stand surrendered. Amen. We are not in the position to fight back, but we are in the position to surrender sa Lord. Ibang klase ang army ng Lord eh. We don't fight the way the world does. Hello? Amen. We don't fight like the world does. Amen. When the world, the world will say, get even. That's the mindset of the world. The mindset of the world will say, Sige ah, aramidong mood. Aramidong takanyang. 
tamakita. That's the mindset of the world. But the mindset of God is different. Stand, stand, stand. Amen. Are you willing to stand for your eternal salvation? Are you willing to stand for your peace? Hello? Or are you going to bargain it? Are you willing to stand for your marriage and your family? And all the singles say, Amen. Amen. Louder. Amen. Are you willing to stand for the opportunity to preach the gospel? Preach? Hindi lang yung preach na ganitong pulpit style. But when, when principles are being compromised, when relationships are compromised, what will you do? Who are you? Are you representing Jesus? Do you stand on your integrity? So stand, the armor of God is God's armor, but the standing, we need to do it ourselves. Armor doesn't stand up by itself. We stand in the armor of God. Number five, know your enemy. A problem, if we have a problem, thank God for the problem. Amen. 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 Sabi mo nga, thank God for the problem. Thank God for the problem. Sabi mo nga, thank you Lord for my problems. Thank you Lord for my problems. Because a problem is nothing but a promise, a door to a promise. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because your promise is locked up behind the problem. So we don't allow the problem to intimidate you from getting the promise. When your health is in problem, you will have to, you will experience Jehovah Jireh. Ay, Jehovah Rapha, our healer. Amen. 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 So, the promise is yours to possess, but it, it's, it's, it's trapped behind the wall like Jericho. Amen? Okay. Last. Proceed po tayo dun sa what, what is our enemy again dun sa binasa natin sa Ephesians chapter 6. There is evil hierarchy makes that, that makes life miserable on planet Earth. Hello? Now, I know na intindihan natin na tayo, anak tayo ng Lord, no much sa atin ng kaaway. Yes, that's true. However, some of us have been com comfortable but not really exercising that identity. It's an identity that we have to, in to exercise every day. Amen. Amen. Kaya nga nung sinend off ng Lord ang kanyang mga disciples, Ang sabi niya, go and preach the gospel. You cast out demons. You heal the sick. You raise the dead. You pa ginagawa natin every day? Hello? Are we doing that? If not yet, then we still have something to alarm ourselves to be doing. Kasi minsan, even the demon in the house, we cannot cast out. Hello? Praise God, wala na dito yun. I want you to be so aware of who your enemy. But you are mo more than being aware of the enemy, you are aware of the Holy Spirit in your life. Yeah. Amen. You know when the Holy Spirit is in your life and you are so aware of the presence, ever indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, you don't go find the demons. It's just very obvious. Hello? Amen? And even the enemy recognize you, the power and authority you have. So, no matter what people do to us, we must be mindful that they are not our enemy. We are never to seek revenge. Amen? We are to forgive our offenders. Amen. And don't be proud 
Buti nga pinatawad ko siya eh. Hello? We're not proud. We forgive because it's just the weapon that the enemy doesn't want you to exercise. Hello? When you build relationships, the enemy doesn't want. So he wants to keep using people to divide people. I pray that we will just be so alert that we are ministers of restoration and reconciliation. Amen. Ito pong nakita ko, if we will not operate in that ministry of peace and reconciliation, you don't know where you stand, the enemy is going to play with you and you will end up with be, being very confused. You don't have to be confused. You just have to be true. You just have to be sincere before the Lord. Stand your ground. Stand in His principles. Stand in the breastplate of, it, of righteousness and truth. Amen? Amen. Sabi ng Romans 12, 19, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Hebrews 10, 30 and 31, Vengeance belongs to the Lord. I will recompense, says the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. And it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. So how do we battle when people hurt and wound us and seek to destroy us in some way? Alam niyo ba ang assault ng kaaway? Is mental attack. Hello? So, He's, he assaults our minds with evil, deceptive thoughts and count on the fact that we will believe to be our thoughts and we will accept them. And we forget that, that the primarily the battle fought is fought in the mind. So in reality, ano ulit ang ating battle? Not flesh and blood. Amen? So if you keep on struggling with people, listen, you will continue to hurt yourself and others. But what will keep you straight and focus in spiritual warfare is to remember at all times that people are not your enemy. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Amen. So finally, the armor of God. Let's put on the armor of God. Because your battle is with the enemy, the Satan, and his demonic forces. Pag nakakaramdam ka ng discouragement, it's, it's a force that you feel imposed on you. It's a demonic force. Hello? But you are mighty. You are mighty. Amen. Amen. Soldier of the Lord. Yes. Every piece of the Lord, yung sinabi niya na armor, the breastplate of righteousness, the belt of truth, kanyon, name it with me, the shield of faith, the sword of the spirit, ano pa? The gospel of peace. Alam niyo ba, lahat itong armor na to points to the identity of in Jesus Christ. Amen? Each piece is a mirror image of a spiritual truth concerning who we are. Pag sinabi natin, ang nasanay kasi tayo sa image ng ano eh, na sundal Roman soldier when when the when apostle Paul sa in Ephesians 6 put on the belt of truth truth you know why kasi itong belt will cover or will will ano will handle yung um uh, in the costume yung suit mo para hindi makita yung reproductive organs mo. Hello? The truth will cover shame and the, the, the organs, the reproductive organs. Amen? The belt of truth. The belt of truth is being brutally honest with ourselves and it is often difficult. Truth is the foundation of the entire armor. And if we do not get healed, sabihin mo nga healed. Heal. 
and delivered in these weak areas of our lives, the devil will use them to divert us from God's plan and eventually destroy us. The loins na sinasabi dito sa Ephesians chapter 6, to gird up your loins, barigil sa niyo, nagituy, represent our, or, repre uh, our private areas of our bodies. When we allow the Holy Spirit to deal with the deception and lies in ang sa buhay natin, all the secret places na tinatago natin, no one, uh, ano, when we allow God to heal us, we don't have to live in shame and embarrassment. Amen. Hello? Amen. Nalala ko si Pastor, <laughs> Pastor Mitch na Pastor ko. Whenever he is being attacked in the area of reputation, he would always tell me, tell us, Nema, alam niyo yung patay na tao? Murahin mo, ikwento mo, ichismis mo siya, yung patay. Pagsabihan mo ng kung ano-ano, dahil patay na siya, wala kang reaction na magkukuha mula sa patay na yan. Hello? Yeah. And I thank God in the earliest stage of my life as a Christian, as a son of God, as a daughter of the Lord, the Lord has taught me so much how to come out of shame. So, kung usapang kahihiyan, I think, I think, huh, I have suffered so much shame that I have known the truth of God's covering. Yung shame po na yon that covered me when I was younger, when I did not know what God has for me. Kaya pong aglilugmang. Awan pa iti Facebook, iti ah, awan pa iti cell phone. But there was just so much trauma, even at Session Road, na alam mo naman, ang dami-dami naman taong dumadaan, ano, at hello, hindi lang naman ikaw ang papansinin nila. But there was just so fear and shame that covered me that I don't lie. I feel like all eyes are on me. And you know, to this day, the enemy keeps on throwing shame. Tap na mabainan ka. Tap na saan ka nga sumanao. Saan ka mga buminingay sa o ni Apo Diyos. Tap na saan ka nga worship mo worship ka ni Apo Diyos. Hello? If you recognize that, you will know, you will know Amen. that God is a God who covers your shame. Amen. He is the glory and the lifter of your head. Amen. Amen. Siguro part two po natin yung ibang mga armor of God. But for now, put on the belt of truth. Put on the belt of truth and the gospel of peace. Siguro, I, I'll just end muna po doon on the belt of truth. Because the truth is not the argument that the truth that you have. Hello? The truth is a person. The truth is Jesus. Amen? Amen? Sabi ko, Lord, I'm done. I'm done argumenting. Ah, argumenting? Tama ba yun? I'm done arguing. I'm done defending myself. Because if you keep on defending yourself, you will grow weary. Yes. Because people's stories will not end. Yes. Because the enemy is determined to kill, steal, and destroy you. Amen. But he knows who to use. He thinks he is clever. But you are wiser than the enemy. Amen. You have the word of God. Amen. You know what to say. You know where to stand. You know what you should be fighting for. Fight for your relationship. Amen. Not on your reputation. If your reputation, I have a story. But if you fight for relationship, I don't care if my reputation will be at stake. 
Anyway, I'm dead. Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. It is uh, no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. Amen. Amen. Who gave himself for me. Amen. And what is important now is I am redeemed, I am sanctified, I am justified. Amen. 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 And if you look at your brother and your sister that way, sabihin mo, you are not my enemy. We have been together, been bought with the price, with the blood of Jesus. Let's rise up. Let us exercise the truth of who we are. Yeah. And I should not be fighting you. I should be covering you because the enemy is do is as well determined to kill you, to kill me. Hello. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you that when the all is said and done, we can stand up on our ground. Defending our ground. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's all stand up this evening, this morning. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that we hear the sound of the alarm in the heavenly places. Today, oh God, we stand by the power of the blood of Jesus in our lives. Amen. I declare that you pour out once more your anointing in the intercession oh God that we would stir up that prayer ministry inside of us you have anointed all of us to pray and when we pray mountains move when we pray atmosphere shifts when we pray the earth shakes when we pray answers come along the way when we pray, we know you are never late. You are always on time. When we pray, our hope is renewed. When we pray, our minds are renewed. When we pray, oh God, when we call upon you, and when we submit ourselves to you, we can resist every work of the enemy. We can identify what belongs to you. Hallelujah. Today we declare in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We stand surrendered before you this morning, O oh God. Come on, can we have that song once more, man? Victor's crown. Lift your hands to the Father. Pray in behalf of your family today. Pray in behalf of your family. Pray in behalf of this city. Pray in behalf of this nation. Pray today and say, God, you hear me. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Each of us has been anointed to pray. Amen.
more than a conqueror. Amen.